That's the good shoulder, the good arm there. The right shoulder is shooting. Welcome to the sold-out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, site of the NBA All-Star Game. And scene tonight of the anticipated matchup of LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. It's game two of our TNT NBA doubleheader as the Cleveland Cavaliers take on the Los Angeles Lakers. As you take a look at LeBron James, and Doug, we never want to hype these matchups too much, but this is one one-on-one -on -one matchup we have been looking forward to. Oh, Kevin, this is this is great. This is what the NBA is all about. It's the individual stars and their greatness. Order off the it really hurt them. Eric Williams, who is the senior Cavalier at 31 years of age, had it knocked away as the act of Gary Payton, and here comes packing it with LeBron James on the fly and Kobe Bryant. Now Kobe is guarding LeBron at one end, but Brown has got Kobe when Kobe's got the ball. Well, that causes problems when you have, it's, it's what you call cross-matching, uh, Kevin, where the guy that's playing you, you're not playing him, so in transition, you have to try to be able to, you're going to get double teams, you've got to have shooters. Kobe Bryant watching James, a screen by Ogoskis and a turnover, and it's taken in by Devin He's George. A very soft player, worked very hard at a terrific senior year. He's very skilled. Oh, James inside with a corkscrew move, but won't count. And it's a foul, his first. Well, that's a great move. That's two turnovers in a row. And one of the things with LeBron, we talked to Paul Silas about this. He's not a point guard. Eventually, he's going to slide over and be the two. You see the step in there and the charge. But this is making him a better player, having to handle the basketball. When they're at their best, he'll be able to. Kobe was holding the ball too much, not feeding to others. Here's a good LeBron James pass to Boozer. Count it. And a foul on the play. He's got his first two. Cook got in the way and draws the foul for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, you talk about a key member. Oh. And Horace Grant trying to clean it up. Lakers are shooting 10%, one of 10. Breakaway for Kedrick Brown at the other end, and LeBron James with the assist. Well, James, very strong hands, loves to pass the basketball, the no look, and Kedrick Brown on the end. Biggest lead of the game, eight points over Los Angeles. I've always felt the biggest part of this young man's game, LeBron James, was seeing the floor. He does it there, and he gets him too. to hear some good news about when Shaq and Carl Malone might be back in action. Well, you better turn down the volume. Shaq will be re-evaluated tomorrow, and team officials really don't want to speculate when he might be back as far as Carl Malone is concerned. He did not practice over the weekend. I was told that his knee doesn't really bother him when he's running in a straight line. It's only when he's moving laterally. Wednesday, he was supposed to be eligible to play against Denver. At first, Phil Jackson said that was a long shot. Yesterday, he said that Carl Malone is not ready. Guys. Interesting. Uh, there's an interesting story, too, about why this calf injury may be something they're concerned about with the hook shot there by LeBron answering Kobe's two at the other end. And now every Cleveland starter has scored, led by the six points of Ilgoskis. And on the fly, it's Kobe again. Rebound by Eric Williams. They trigger it out to LeBron James. The feed for there. Make sure you get a good shot, Kev. Kobe Bryant rejected inside. And it's Gary Payton wide open. Cavaliers, by the way, plus five and rebounding to begin the game. Lakers have never led. The Cavs by six. James puts one in, and he was absolutely smothered. He's got the Woods have the same birthday. A good pick. And a three-on-one, James jousting with Brown. Good feed to Carlos Boozer. I think they might have called the foul yep. on Kobe before. And another turnover. That's the third for the Lakers. The Cavaliers have four. LeBron at the other end. Count it! And a foul! <laughs> what a move. This young guy. There he palms the basketball. An opportunity for a three-point play. You don't teach this. Kevin, this is God-given and hard work. First foul went on Grant. James now gives the Cavaliers their biggest lead tonight, 11 points. He's shooting at 76%. It's Kobe with the stutter step on Williams, oh. turning inside. Who's it with the second round selection out of Duke? Look at Kobe trying to move inside. Well, you know, there was another great player at one time that had that problem too. His name was Dizzy D. Oh, he was a pitcher, had a bad score. Rebound by Boozer, knocked away by Kobe Bryant. Nice hustle by Kobe. And a spin by Boozer and takes it inside. Good start. LeBron early couple turnovers, mishandled the ball and 
It makes a nice move, but uh, the nice defensive play there by Devin George to draw the charge, but then he really settles down. He makes a beautiful no-look pass here to Kendrick Brown off the break. Then he goes into the post. Post up Kobe, the little jump hook over his left shoulder. Kobe says, well, enough of that. I'm going to go to the basket after the nice steal. Cleveland leads by eight, but they have five turnovers that have given the Lakers six of their 13 points, Kevin. LeBron James has seven, and he'll be stuck right. two on one. And look at LeBron James feed Brown. They're knocked out of bounds. And picks and won an NCAA championship. And this young guy, what he's done is to see Kobe with his spectacular spot up three point shooting. Away, shot clock at two. Kobe with a deceptive move and a foul. Well, he's done it again, boy, but he was hit right in the shoulder. And that is the same shoulder that he hurt last year in the playoffs with the dunk against the Minnesota Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Well, you see Phil Jackson sitting over there right now, and he's got to be saying to himself, man, oh, man, we've lost Malone. We've lost Shaquille O'Neal. We can ill afford to lose Kobe Bryant. And you know what? Kobe is not a guy that shows a lot of demonstration when he gets hit like that. So I, I assume he's in a lot of pain right now. Let's hope it's nothing serious. Maybe Cheryl will be able to find out for us just exactly what's going on here. He was trying to jam in Minneapolis in the playoffs last year, hurt the shoulder, went through the playoffs, off-season oh. shoulder surgery, and that is the same shoulder that they worked on in the off-season and that he is kind of hurt right here to what degree we don't know well look at this though i mean you know kedrick brown's a big man this guy plays about 220 pounds you can see him come right down on that right shoulder now the interesting thing about this is kobe you know this is a team right now which is the coach Paul jazz player and you realize how vulnerable you are and you've seen that i hope this is nothing serious you can watch kobe after the free throw does not want to move that shoulder of the game well, you can see when when Paul Silas went to his bench and he took LeBron out of the game he's got Darius Miles out there with Capono or I just want to test the market I, I don't blame him for that James watching James slide inside and so bit so that LeBron can rest and be strong for the fourth period he had one late change in one tie there's Will Jackson in Chicago championship there he shot left oh my hand. gosh a left-handed <laughs> shot by Look at Kobe Phil. Bryant Look at Phil. <laughs> just tapped it taken by Williams there's LeBron Brandon into George and a foul on finally LeBron James gets one to go they're 10 of 33 from the floor and 10 points with great plays like this, he looked like he was going to start doing something big. And then on this fake, he got whacked and partially separated his shoulder. He hit the free throw, but you can see going back on defense, Doug, he was in pain. Yeah, this is a major, major concern. It's a surgically repaired shoulder leaving the court. Uh, we actually saw him in the second period actually take a left-handed jump shot. He is coming back. It'll be interesting to see if he tries to... Uh, to play here in this second half. Looks like Kareem Rush is going to start, but you can see Kobe right now playing really one-handed, passing the ball with one hand, rebounding with one, and then shoots the left-hander. I think this is when Phil Jackson decided maybe he's had enough for night, and we'll go to got to pick up their level of offense. Kevin Ollie is now Carlos Boozer. That sets up the lineup beginning the second half, and a three by Paul Malone. So guys, we got to challenge ourselves. Here comes James on the floor. He's got nine rebounds to lead all rebounders. And they need an excuse to lose. And they have got to find a way to be a better basketball team. Slash and cut more and get to the boards more when they're not. LeBron James, who now is 5 of 13, 12 points, 4 assists. That the quick double. Deflected, and there's the hustle of Akron born and raised. LeBron James. Williams for three. And that is the game's first three point. Point. Rebound by James. Now the rebounding is even at 38. Oh, he hit the other end with a great laser feed from LeBron. This, this LeBron James has got an unbelievable feel for the game. The play he made to get the ball was was terrific. Just the hands rebound. that he had. LeBron by Medvedenko leads with three on three. And travel. Oh, <laughs> <Nope>, travel. <laughs> <laughs> I think he traveled three times on that play before Benny Adams got the last one. We need to look Paul Silas. Yes. He's trying to implement with this young ball. Oh, nice pass there by LeBron James. And see, that's where uh, Eric Williams did his game. Here comes LeBron. He's got 12. Nice rejection by Petit. James 
down court. No, get in there, ball. There go, and a part on the perimeter a little bit, but if the more he catches that ball. Brown was injured, and Kobe is out, so both are gone. James. <laughs> now, remember, when he came into the league, the one thing he couldn't do was make jump shots. Well, all of a sudden, he's starting to make James, 6 of 15 shooting. Russell, one time a pretty good defender in the league. A little bit off there, Fisher, the rebound. Looked like he slipped on something as he stepped back. A lot of times people spill their drinks over there where they're sitting or a magazine or something, and that's how you can get in. Into his young season, but for LeBron James opening night, had 25 points. First game against Carmelo Anthony and the Nuggets. He had seven points in that game. In mid-December, a career-high 37 points against the Boston Celtics. And then with Michael Jordan watching in late December, 32 points, including the last 14. Then on Christmas Day, against the Magic and T-Mac, LeBron had 34 points in the game. Well, the question is going to be is when will Paul Silas bring him back into the game? I'm sure he wants him as fresh as possible. A little over six minutes to go. And he scored a point here in the fourth period. Nope. Zero. All of two. And a three here. Will be a big key, key part of that uh, Laker team if they're going to win another championship. LeBron couldn't even win Simeon. Simeon, yeah. yes. The other kid got hurt. Had Magic, the rookie, yeah, the, the freshman. Six percent shooting fourth quarter. Look at Paul Silas sitting over on that bench as he gets up. The discouragement in his face. Look at Paul as he walks off. You got to get on that plane and go to Seattle. And uh, this is something right here that um, they, they've got to correct. And this was their woes last year, Kevin. The fourth quarter, they found ways to lose games, and they're still doing it again this year. And they led by five coming into this yes, fourth. Yes, they did. And led even a couple points more when that fourth quarter started going. Cavaliers missed nine of their last ten. Lose it tonight. Lakers winning. Let's go over to shoot and 11. A final score, the Lakers 89, the Cavaliers 79. The NBA on TNT returns Monday, January 19th at 7 o'clock Eastern. Rockets will take on the Grizzlies. The Jazz will battle the Warriors. TNT is your exclusive home for the 2004 NBA All-Star Game. For Doug Collins and Cheryl Miller, Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll take a break, then send you to our studios with Ernie Johnson here on TNT.